Hello everybody, how goes it? It is time for a new craft roulette card. And this week's parameters I thought were actually pretty easy. Uh, basically it's a collage of some sort. Three pops of red, far away, and vellum or tissue paper. So I pulled this red tissue paper because it'll kind of hit three of the parameters. And then for far away I thought I'd use the uh, Jodora stamp set again. This is actually a 4x6 panel that I cut out of... Uh, 100 pound Bristol paper, so I think this will work well. And then we'll just do three pops of red kind of in this area somewhere. Uh, I did pull some Mod Podge for that. And this is the paper Mod Podge that looks like I actually have never opened. So let's do that quick. Uh, where is a craft pointy thing when you need one? Here we go. There we go. This is a pretty liquidy liquid, so basically I'm just going to put a little bit of it down here on the sides where we were talking. This may warp a little bit. That's the only downside to this technique. And I'm just going to grab, let's say, one pop of red here. Then we can trim these off later, basically. And then I'll just do a little bit more here. Maybe like that. And I like to put it down and then go over it. Um, the only downside to this technique is it does take a bit to dry. And I tend to just go over the paper I want to just sort of saturate. Uh, this goes on white, but will dry clear if you haven't worked with the product before. And then let's say maybe an Eiffel Tower right about here. So I don't know. Maybe turn this guy around and make him a little smaller. Yeah, like right about here. Like that. I think that will work out nicely. There are our three pops of red. I'm going to... Put the lid back on this guy, and we need to let this stuff dry for a minute, or maybe a little more than a minute. So I'm going to take a wipe off my hands, wipe off my desk, and take a quick break, and then we will be back once this is sort of dried off enough to work with. I'm just removing any excess here to sort sort of blend this out because this is going to be the, the Mod Podge is a fairly shiny product so you're probably going to see it alrighty we're back it's been about 10 minutes and this is no longer tacky to the touch so this dry, dried a lot faster than I thought it would usually I think like gels and mediums and all that stuff take a good, I don't know maybe a good half hour hour but this one, not so much. Just sort of putting this back on the paper trimmer and just when I just trim off the edge to get it true, which is what I did here. And you see we didn't, like the warping on this wasn't too bad. And yeah, the extra little pieces are off. So now we can move on to stamping. As I get another card out of this card set I wasn't sure if I would ever use, which is pretty cool. I must say, it's always nice when that happens. It's sort of the opposite I feel like usually happens, where it's like you're just absolutely so sure you're going to use something all the time, and then, you know, it's like months later and you haven't used it for some reason.
will say Scrappy Tails does a nice job of putting a lot of stamps on this single sheet, which is pretty nice. And they do have all the coordinating dies and all that as well, if you want that. I've, I've kind of stopped buying coordinating dies because I found they weren't like a super great value for me personally. Uh, but you do you, of course. I'm going to basically center this and center it in the corner. So it's really close to this like third pop of red. And then I may need to do this guy a couple times, but we'll see. The nice thing about this Catherine Pooler Midnight is it's really sticky. And this is a dye-based ink, so like if I was planning to do more wet method stuff on here, I would be a little more careful. Yeah, and then we can see we got we got sort of a partial print. So let's go back and do that again. It's pretty common with new stamps that like your first couple stampings are going to just sort of be not the most awesome. And this one gets a little bit weird in that uh let's just do this and make sure we get a good print. That looked better. I kind of like that. I could stamp it a third time. I think I'm going to leave it a little more vintagey because I have an idea. So we've got our three pops of red, and we've got our far away, which is the Eiffel Tower. And I like this. This looks sort of newsprinty. Uh, obviously, you could keep inking this and get a uh, like a very crisp look. But what I want to do is, I think I. This really fun metallic hot pink that I think I'm going to just sort of stipple in on the sort of just like on top of this area. Just to sort of give it a little more texture. And then I'm going to do a similar thing on this side of the Eiffel Tower just to sort of, I don't know, give it a little more dimension than it had before. And if you're not familiar with Lunar Paste, it's basically a, I'd say it's sort of an acrylic based mica paste. So it's probably not going to read great here, but it is ridiculously shiny. So you will get a very shiny look if that is what you were going for. And because it's water based, it cleans up a lot easier than like a dye based product. You know, like we can... Yeah, see, like, it's all off my hand with very little effort. So what I was thinking is, because this has a lot of color, it would be fun to just sort of mat it on. This is a 5x7 because this is a, this panel is 4x6. So just sort of mat it on a 5x7 card. So we will... Do that quickly. You can see this is already dry. So one of the pros and cons of this product is it dries super fast. And I have these. I bought these on Amazon. These are just four by six. They're very lightweight cardstock. They're maybe like a forty-pound cardstock. But I like to put them on the inside of. Um, Especially craft cards, because I find craft is kind of hard to write on. So I just like to grab it and stick it in the middle without too much work. But this is also really smooth. It's just a much lighter weight than what we have on top. And then you can do whatever you want with it. So there we go. I like this. Seems very ready for Valentine's Day with the whole Eiffel Tower theme. And uh, yeah, I like it.